That main rod we use liquid brine because it's a much faster application. Crystal salt is not a de-icer, it needs to become a liquid, so as a brine, it's automatically a de-icer. By using brine, it keeps it so the moisture does not stick to the road or freeze to the road at zero. It now takes it down before it begins to freeze. And brine helps us get back to clear and bare roads faster than without the use of brine. Three materials that Main Road uses for a forecasted winter storm is salt brine, crystal salt, and winter sand. We're not always going to use brine for absolutely everything. It's one tool in the toolbox. It's a high performance tool, but it's ideal for certain conditions and certain situations. There are going to be times when we still use granular salt. There are going to be times when we still use winter sand, what we call winter abrasive. There's going to be times when we use all these things still. Brine is the best tool available for certain conditions at certain times, and that's why we use it. Depending on the forecasted weather, we'll uh, make a decision on what type of anti-icing we'll be using out there. Some forecasted events will call for crystal salts. However, often we'll be using uh, liquid salt brine. We find that it bonds with the pavement for a longer period. Crystal salt can be blown off the road by, by traffic, uh, so we get a bit more lifespan out of the liquid salt, and it's really effective at preventing the bond of ice on the asphalt surfaces. It gives us the ability to put it down anytime we want on a dry day, and it also gives us the ability, once you put it down, it stays for multiple days. For salt to uh, start its chemical reaction, it requires moisture, and by uh, adding water, we automatically start the chemical reaction. It dries to the road, as soon as the snow hits it, it starts working immediately. You know Brian's been applied to the road when you see the chalky white lines on the dry surface and it's ready for whatever moisture hits the road, it will immediately start melting it. Liquid anti-icy brine is a blend of crystal salt and water. The typical composition is 23% salt and 77% water. For comparison, ocean water is 3.5% salt in water. Anti-icing brine can be further enhanced by adding additional chlorides to make it more effective in colder temperatures. And we can spray it directly onto the lane where we want it because it's already in that liquid form. Whereas if we were to use granular salt, the salt would have to liquefy first before it starts working. And once you put the brine on the road, you can get multiple days out of it. You could put it down three days in advance if there's no rain forecast. It doesn't blow off in the ditches like salt does so we can use less to service the same length of road. By using brine, when we apply it to the highway, it stays on the highway. It allows us to get back to a bare, clear pavement surface quicker than if we were not using brine. Prior to a storm, we're monitoring the air temperature, road temperature, dew point, and humidity to see if it's the right conditions to use the brine solution. And if it is, that's when we apply the anti-icing to the road prior to the storm. We look at all these factors because we want to deliver the safest road to the traveling public. We monitor the weather constantly prior to a storm. We have patrols going constantly. If the temperatures aren't right, we don't brine. We still have the granule salt or the sand to use, but we would prefer to use brine if we are able to. We're doing our job to be more environmentally friendly. The brine that we put on the highway stays on the highway. By using less winter sand and brine when we can, it allows the cleanup in the spring to be more environmentally friendly. There's less dust and we burn less fuel and it's far more environmentally friendly than by using straight granule all winter long. The anti-icing materials, they're actually made so that we can get the roadways back to a better, safer traveling condition in a quicker amount of time, which is why we're using them. So you want to make sure that you're giving them the space and allowing them to do the job that they need to do in order to get you guys home at the end of the day. Remaining safe is a joint responsibility. When you see a snowplow, salt or sand truck on the road, please proceed with caution. Our eyes are on the road, potential obstacles and dangers. We ask you to be patient. Never pass a snowplow on the right and only on the left when it is safe and legal to do so.